Today is October 12, 2012, and today's culprit is going to be this sliced dried seaweed. So I just did uh, the seaweed in another form, which was in the nori sushi rolls. So I'm curious, and I bought it all at the same place. All I get is that it's made in China. It's packed for someone in the USA. There's the brand. This one has no date whatsoever on it. Let me see up on top. No. No date whatsoever on it. Just says that it's three ounces dry weight or 85 grams. So I'm going to do a test with the meter opened, bag opened, and bag unopened. Here's the only identifying numbers. It looks like a J010 or JC10. Alright, today is October 12, 2012, and I'm going to do a background reading before I test a bag of seaweed. From China and my first background reading for 10 minutes is 262 which is pretty low it's one of my lower background readings for 10 minutes uh, since I've been doing these tests 4 count high 0.44 average data count data point Test two background on the dried kelp strands that I'm going to test. Four count high, 0.46, average data point. Test three on the seaweed strains, 255. That's the lowest four count high, 0.43 average data count. Now that's a total typical background between a lot of ones and a few twos. That's the way it should be. This is right smack dab on the bag. So definitely numbers are rising and it seems like it's it's gonna be a hot one. So right now if anything, what's being blocked are the alpha particles. So this is definitely beta and or gamma's coming through here. They're just blowing right through that plastic. This is significantly, high, significantly higher than I thought it would go compared to the other seaweeds and kelps that I've done. But they were all bought at the same time around July of 2012 and I just got around to testing them because I wanted to test them and throw them out. It's garbage day.
And another thing, I'm no longer doing my testing in my bedroom. Because I was wondering, with me bringing all these radioactive food products in my room. So now I do it uh, in the outside by the garage. I forgot. Already, I could tell already this is going to be pretty high because I can get a focus in here. Because if you look at the total counts already, are above the seconds. That's a good way of knowing already that it's going to be way above background. So we shall see. Six count high. We've got five more tests to do, so. Now look at right off the get go. It looks like a heartbeat. And then look at right over here, don't even reach the bottom at all. Now those are a telltale sign that it's picking up some sort of some isotopes of something. Another sign is When that each time it's picking something up. I think that's what they call a decay event that it picks up. And you don't want this to be lighting up at all. It's kind of like a siren, it's warning us. Except you don't hear it. It's like firecrackers. Alright, here is the first test. A surprising 877 on the dried strands of seaweed. Six point high, but a lot of them. There's the average data point is 1.46. You tell me. Is it in there or isn't? It's in there. Alright, this is test two on the unopened bag of seaweed strands. I'm getting an 871 for 10 minutes, six count high. 1.45 is the average data point. And just like the first, it's definitely picking something up in there. Alright, this is test three on the unopened bag of dry shredded seaweed. We got 836. 
six count high, 1.39 average data point. I'm curious if when we open the bag if it's gonna be like really crazy or just about the same, so there we go. We'll see we shall see. There are the strands. I, I emptied the package and about to test it now. All right, this is test one without the bag of the seaweed strands, and it's a 9.23, 10 minutes. There's an eight count high, 1.54 average data point. So that's the highest reading yet so far. We'll see if we can top a thousand. Alright, this is test two on the open bag of seaweed strands. I got a 994. Eight count high though. 1.66 count average data point. And there's the hot mess. Alright, this is test three on the open bag of seaweed, and I'm getting a 970, seven count high, 1.62 average data point. Another shot of the date. And there is the graph, or the chart. And my guess is that's way above natural radiation in iodine all right the reason why I thought about testing the seaweed for radiation was a couple months ago it was reported California seaweed tested over 500% higher for radioactive iodine-131 than anywhere else in the United States. Seaweed is used in an array of products we consume. Articles ranging from preventing breast cancer, weight loss, biofuel, radiation removal in your body, and products like toothpaste and noodles, the plants probably has some amazing 
health properties, but Fukushima has ruined another one of nature's gifts to humans. I definitely have a feeling that this is more than just natural iodine in the seaweed. This is radioactive man-made iodine or cesium. My conclusion with the seaweed strands is that with an open bag being over three and a half times background radiation, my hunch is that it's more than natural iodine in the seaweed, maybe even cesium. So I don't know what they're using this seaweed for, but I don't think I would use it. Background seaweed background seaweed background seaweed background seaweed <laughs>